quarter number three. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first Go. as we are back underway in the third quarter. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. That's evidence of why you spend a high draft pick on a receiver, isn't it, Charles? It certainly is. His ability to make plays like that, and we've seen flashes of it from him so far in his rookie season. But also, it opens things up for the rest of the offense because they have to bring their attention to him as well. Touchdown! A great play there. His second TD of the game and 18th of the year. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point splits the uprights, and they open the lead up now to 25. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to the knee, and they'll take over at the 25. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, it wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. First down, here's the run with Cook. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A six-yard gain brings up second and four at the 46-yard line. Back to throw here. This ball complete. It's an L route to Thielen. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 44-yard line. They'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. Maybe that's our plan with Stone Stone. It's second down now. I've been on a hard way. Following the good run by Cook. Here's another first and ten. He'll drop to throw. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Attempted and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Texans scoop it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, he has been a rock for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. He'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. So 
about seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He sets to fire deep. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Well, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The Texans send the punter out. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't. He's got him in, complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward, and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Here we go on second and 12. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. This a 31-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. So his third field goal in the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Texans offense set to regain possession. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move. It. Puts it on the carpet. It's out. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they are going to bring this one back. It's a fumble return. A scoop and score for the Vikings. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You know, you force the fumble. I think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. Always happening in the second half. They relaxed a little bit, or maybe lost their focus as well, and end up turning out to be a touchdown against them. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. Looking for a bounce back. Had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction. See if he can get back in rhythm. And you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good players. I did a guy's game in high school where he fumbled three times in the first quarter. Finished with over 300 yards on the night. Lived up in the NFL. If you got a talented back, give it back to him. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. They'll get this to about the 38. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 69 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. On play action. 
action. They'll throw. And that is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Here we go, here we go. Down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. And we return, welcoming you back to Minneapolis. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. It's the Texans in control of the football and leading this game as well as we start the third. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it'll be fourth down. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And yeah, they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Vikings head out to take over once again. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. He's still on his feet, and he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. They run the counter with Cook. No gain on the play there, second down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Third down. Here's a run by Cook. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. No reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, Plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. And that's exactly what they got done. They'll run with Cook. And he loses the football a second time. And the Texans say they have it. They do. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble is kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. The last run got six, now second and four. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And this won't be enough to pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. The Texans on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They're up against a third and one situation. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. They'll set up to throw. That's to his running back, complete. 
And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Texans are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious, so you have to learn from those and in a hurry. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rolling to his left. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Out of the gun now on third down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there. 70 yards. And the Texans add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football. He's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. From the six. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. His throw incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and that was just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Taking down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. And he'll take it on this side of midfield. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Texans will take over with a first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 90 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. A 
what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. A quick throw to the left flat, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. Well, he certainly looks to be in that groove right now. On second down, they'll run it here. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Extra point right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and he'll take over at the 25. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Open man is stealing his complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. resulted in a lot of touchdowns and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one well that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit but as far as the actual need you and i both know they can just run this clock out because this one it was over a long time ago so back to back incompletions and that has them staring at a third and ten now they'll throw here out of the gun he's going to go up top again and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here we go on fourth down. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. So Houston going to come away here with the victory. And I think they might have something in this young rookie quarterback because he certainly looked the part. I have to ask you a question. Are you thinking similar to what I'm thinking? And these rookie quarterbacks, they come in more prepared than ever before. Year after year, they just seem more comfortable from day one. I think you start really young now. These quarterback coaches, they play against a better competition. They go to camps across the country. Then they play big-time games in college. So when they get to the NFL, it's not quite the same, how would you say it, pressure that they felt in years past. And these kids just... 